Hi, this is Martin Brennan from Imagineer Systems. Today we're going to be looking at the top five things to look out for when using Mocha in your workflow. We'd like to thank Artbeats for giving us generous use of their excellent footage. When corner pinning an object that isn't the same dimensions as your footage, there are a few other things that you need to do to make sure that it works. Say for example I want to track in this Mocha logo onto this building. Now the dimensions of this logo are not the same as my original source footage, so we're going to run into a few problems. In Mocha, I've got my corner pin set up here at, with the surface, which is where I want the logo to be. I'm going to export the tracking data as it is right now, and try to do the corner pin now. As you can see, it hasn't worked. The corner pin is way off. This is because of the way After Effects interprets the dimensions of the corner pin. So let's just undo that. What we need to do is a couple of extra steps to make sure that this logo sits in the right point. So first of all what we want to do is add a manual corner pin by going to Effect Distort Corner Pin. Then we'll just position it where we want it to be. Then what we need to do is make sure we pre-compose this layer so that the dimensions of the layer become the same size as the source footage. So for that we go to Layer, Pre-compose. We want to make sure we move all the attributes into the new composition, otherwise the corner pin will stay outside. Then we can go back into Mocha. What we need to do is, first of all, make sure we're on the frame that is the same one we worked on to corner pin in After Effects. We then go up to a line surface and hit that. This makes the surface completely fill the source footage dimensions. We can then export our tracking data and paste. This time, it sits in the correct position. 